Hello all, I'm Padmapani Tribhuvan. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Wampus word. The Wampus word is the problem which can be solved by using knowledge base agent. So let us start with what is the Wampus word. The Wampus word is a cave consisting of rooms connected by passageways. So consider this is a cave consisting of 16 rooms connected by passageways. Lurking somewhere in the cave is the terrible wampus, a beast that eats anyone who enters its room. Consider this is the room where wampus is there. The wampus can be shot by an agent but the agent has only one arrow. So this is the room where agent is there having single arrow and agent can shoot the wampus. Some rooms contains bottomless pits that will trap anyone who wandered into these rooms except for the wampus which is too big to fall in. So consider there are three different rooms having pit. The only mitigating feature of this environment is the possibility of finding a heap of gold. This is the gold for which agent is searching. Now let us see peace description. Peace description describes the complete problem. For that, we describe performance major, environment, actuators, and sensors. Now we will describe all these for Wampus word. Performance major plus 1000 for climbing out of the cave with the gold, minus 1000 for falling into a pit or being eaten by the Wampus, minus 1 for each action taken. Minus 10 for using up the arrow. The game ends either when the agent dies or when the agent claims out of the cave. Now let's see environment. A 4x4 four four grid of rooms. Each room is numbered and for numbering all rooms, we number each row and a column. So by using these numbers, we identify a room. The agents always start in the square labeled 1 1 facing to the right. The location of the gold and the wampus are chosen randomly with a uniform distribution from the square other than the start square. In addition, each square other than the start can be a pit with probability of a point 2. Actuators Agent can perform following actions. Forward, the agent can move forward. Turn left and turn right. The agent can turn left by 90 degree or turn right by 90 degree. Grab, the action grab can be used to pick the gold if it is in the same square as the agent. Shoot. The action shoot can be used to fire an arrow in a straight line in the direction the agent is facing. The arrow continues until it either hits and hence kills the wampus or hits a wall. Climb. The action climb can be used to climb out of the cave but only from square 1 1. Agent dies a miserable death if it enters a square containing a pit or a live wampus. If an agent tries to move forward and bumps into a wall, then agent does not move. Now let's talk about sensors. The agent has five sensors, each of which gives a single bit of information. First sensor in the square containing the wampus and in the directly adjacent squares, the agent will perceive a strange. In the squares directly adjacent to a pit, the agent will perceive a breach. In the square where the gold is, the agent will perceive a glitter. When an agent walks into a wall, it will perceive a bump. When the wampus is killed, it emits an awful scream that will be perceived anywhere in the cave. The percept will be given to the agent program in the form of a list of a pipe symbol. For example, if there is a strange and a bridge 
but no glitter bump or scream the agent program will get strange breach none 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 now let us see how does knowledge based wampus agent exploring the environment so this is the environment we use an informal knowledge representation language consisting of writing down symbols in a grid as is shown here a is agent b is breeze g is glitter or gold ok means a safe square p is paid s is strange v is visited and w is wampus the agent's initial knowledge base contains the rules of environment as we have discussed already in particular it knows that it is in 1 1 and 1 1 is a safe square we denote that with an a and ok respectively in square 1 1 the first percept is none 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 from which the agent can conclude that its neighboring squares 1 2 2 are free from dangers and they are okay so this figure shows the agent state of knowledge at this point an agent will move only into a square that it knows to be okay let us suppose the agent decides to move forward to to one the agent perceives a breach denoted by b in to one so there must be a pit in a neighboring square the pit cannot be in one one by the rule of the game and so there must be a pit in two two or three one or both the notation p question mark in the figure indicates a possible pit in those square at this point there is only one known square that is okay and that has not been visited so the agent will turn around go back to 1 1 and then proceed to 1 2 the agent perceives a strange in 1 2 resulting in the state of knowledge as shown in this figure the strange in 1 2 means that there must be a wampus nearby but wampus cannot be in 1 1 by the rule of the game and it cannot be in 2 2 therefore the agent can infer that wampus is in 1 3 the notion w indicates this inference moreover the lack of bridge in 1 2 implies that there is no pit in 2 2 yet the agent has already inferred that there must be a pit in either 2 2 or 3 1 so this means it must be in 3 1 this is a fairly difficult inference because it combines knowledge gained at different times in different places and relies on the lack of the percept to make one step the agent has now proved itself that there is neither a pit nor a wampus in 2 2 so it is okay to move there we do not show the agent's state of knowledge at 2 2 we just assume that the agent turns the move to 2 2 giving us this figure in 2 3 the agent detects a glitter so it should grab the gold and then return home note that in each case for which the agent draws a conclusion from the available information that conclusion is guaranteed to be correct if the available information is correct this is a fundamental property of logical reasoning so this is all about the wampus word and how it can be solved by using knowledge base agent thank you for watching see you in my next video till then being passionate learner keep learning thank you